Warm greetings to all of you and to all our kababayans abroad. Kumusta kayo dyan? We are praying that you are well, strong, healthy, despite this global coronavirus pandemic that has been, hey, relentlessly battering us, you know, all over the world for the last six months now. Yes, it's been uh, quite a journey, but we are not yet out of the long, dark COVID-19 tunnel. We are hoping, though, that soon we will see the light at the end of it. And you know what? What I observe, Joyce, is in the middle of this crisis, you know, people are drawing closer to God. They're being more really prayerful. They're depending on God. You see, there, there are no answers. There, you know, there, there, there's no light, like you said, in the end of the tunnel. Add to that, Peter, this pandemic makes more people open to hearing the gospel, syempre, di ba? And they want to hear about the goodness of our Lord Jesus Christ. Tama, pati yung faithfulness niya. Amen. That is the testimony of our guest from the United Kingdom, Eric Von Fredeluses. Welcome to the show, Von. Hello po. Actually po, it's been um, an honor to be in this program and I'm so excited to share as well the experience. It's not an easy experience. At the same time, it's um, it's an experience that you will learn from it as well. So being a frontliner and at the same time being a COVID patient as well. So excited din po akong ma-share sa inyo yan. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. tell me, Von, uh, before we uh, hear your COVID story, Um, how long have you been in the UK? Uh, and are you there alone with your family or ano? I will be turning five years this year uh, by December. I uh, came here uh, five years ago just alone, uh, actually with a batch of nurses from all over the Philippines. But my family is there back there in General Santos City. So I was scared and I missed it, but trying to survive in this foreign country. Actually, po, when the news um, broke out from Wuhan, uh, we are not really expecting na mag-spread siya ng ganong kabilis at ganong kalala. But as healthcare worker, we were trained to handle patients kasi po, kailangan pong maging prepared kami, lalong lalo na po kami nasa ICU. So they trained us. But um, when it came already, the first case came to UK, especially in London, medyo kinabahan na po, especially my family back there. Mm-hmm. So, uh, nakakakaba rin po talaga. Mm-hmm. And I am even like 50-50 expecting I might catch it because I will be dealing with it first-handedly. So, yun po yung naging fear ko rin po that time. So, what was going on through your mind? What made you so worried when you found out na positive ka? What went through your yeah. your mind? Yes po, kasi uh, I was exposed to a patient, not just once, but um, many times. Uh, on this particular patient, um, nung panahon na po yun, that time yung UK medyo nasa early phase pa po eh. So hindi pa po ganun ka-established ang PPE or personal mm-hmm. protective equipment. Kaya medyo simple lang po. Nung after five days that I was exposed with this COVID patient, naramdaman ko na po yung mga symptoms. Kinabahan po ako para sa sarili ko, pero mas kinabahan po ako paano ko, paano kong positive ako at paano ko po sasabihin sa pamilya ko. Because um, COVID there in the Philippines is really, really like nakakatakot rin pakinggan. So mm-hmm. the, the fear is not within myself, but yung paano ko i-break yung news sa family ko po. What can you say about that? Should we really be afraid? I think the right ter- the right term po is not to be afraid but to be cautious enough because mm. we have sir we have recovery rates for covid as well. Pero ang ang yung ang covid po kasi hindi lang po siya yung one pattern ng every person has a different set of signs and symptoms. Kagaya ko po, I mm. was diagnosed with COVID after five days looking after a COVID patient, mm. I have different set of symptoms. Like, it's really mild symptoms. I didn't have cough. I didn't have flu or anything. I was just having body aches and loss of sense of taste and smell. Na nagpo-progress po every day. And every day is a different day of signs and symptoms. Mm. Ang, ka- ang kalungkutan wow. lang po doon, yeah, na, na every, yung housemates ko po, nahawa ko rin po. So, yung housemates ko, iba rin po yung signs and symptoms nila. So, we should be very cautious because we do not know outside kung sino yung mga meron. Pwedeng mild, pwedeng severe symptoms din po. I, I prayed to God like, Lord, um, give me the strength to break this to my family because it's not gonna be easy. God, I think, gave me the wisdom just to be honest and then He will do the rest. 
So I just mm-hmm. told them na ma, I'm having the symptoms and I tested positive for COVID. Good thing, ang kinakabahan ko lang po is baka ma-anxiety si mama or mm-hmm. anong mayari. So good thing, yeah. God sustained her and um, she gave her the strength to accept it. And yeah, ina- na-break ko rin po ang news sa kanila. And then they were, con- after that day, they were sustaining me as well as my support mm-hmm. system. So malaking tulong din po talaga yun. Mm-hmm. Was there a moment, Vaughn, na naisip mo na, you know, the worst might happen? Natatakot din po ako because COVID is not just physical. It's also taking a toll on your mental health because you are isolated. You are in isolation. And that time, you are just alone with with the four corners of your room. Kaya nakakatakot. Yung anxiety, mm-hmm. mas kakainin ka nun kesa yung physical symptoms niyo po. During my isolation, I realized something that um, it is just between you and your God. Ito yung naging paraan para I'll commune with my God and this is just with me and my God. And I realized that the illness is there, the infection is there. And why would I worry if I can pray? So yun po yung naging paraan ko para lumakas rin po yung pananalig at yung sa isip ko po to battle this COVID physically and mentally. But I knew that I was recovering because the first thing that um, the, na bumalik sa sensation ng aking taste is yung sense ng salt. Ah. And that very little thing that progressed, I realized that yung salt I appreciated it. That little things that I was neglecting all my life, mm-hmm. it gave me hope. That very little thing. Kaya I was really, really thankful to the Lord. Then it progressed afterwards. Amen. You know, um, Eric, you sharing that with your parents assures you of this, of a praying mother, a praying father. Na talagang they will take you to the Lord day and night. The, you know that that's the other, that's the positive side of being open to them. No, so tell me something. Ano bang reaction ng coworkers nyo na mo na when they saw you reporting back for work? It was it was a great joy. Kasi halos lahat mo kami ng nurses dito, Filipinos, Europeans, and other um, race. Halos lahat po nagka-COVID and almost 80% po sa hospital. And one by one, us reporting back to back to work, it's really a great joy kasi wala pong naging casualty and it made us stronger and made us more compassionate in looking after these patients because kami nga na mild symptoms lang medyo mahirap. What more these severe symptoms in, with severe, severe symptoms in ICU? Kaya we were more compassionate in looking after them as well. Is it true na yung pasyente na si Greg, yung hinahandle mo bago ka nagka-COVID, na-assign ka uli sa kanya? Tama ba? Yes po. The, f- the very first day I returned to work, they assigned me to him because siguro iniisip nila na I have been through this and I might be able to um, share some experience and give him hope. But mm-hmm. when I went back, it was really poorly already. And then um, I went back to his room held his hand and I told him, uh, Craig, if you remember me, I was looking after you when you were still a little bit well. And now I was, uh, I have been sick as well. And now I'm back. I hope this, um, my touch would give you a little bit of hope even in this hopeless times. And he was really poorly, but he looked at me and just nodded because hindi po siya makapagsalita because oh. my tube na yung, yung sa breathing niya. So he just squeezed my Hand. And then I just did whatever I, I I need to do as a nurse. And then after a few days, um, uh, I just knew na he already passed away. And I think mm. squeezing my fingers was his thanks as well. And maybe um, was giving me um, a, a response na, hey, I, I'm gonna be okay. Parang ganun po. Mm, mm. Amazing. I, I, love, I love what you did. Mm. And I think that's um, that's going beyond what you were trained for, uh, reaching to his heart, and and this just showing him nurture and care. Uh, that that was such a wonderful thing you did. I think in these difficult times, we don't need to be just professional. We need to be human as well. Um, it's not easy, 
it's not just physical, it's emotional, spiritual, and everything. So I think we just need to be human at this time. What did you learn from this entire COVID-19 experience? My realization after this um, experience that I would never really forget, and it's within the history already, that within the difficult times of your life, God will always be there. He will never leave you nor forsake you. So why worry if you can pray? Commune with the Lord. I mean, the only the last thing that you would do is be with God and be be with your God. I mean, He will give you the strength to sustain it. He will give you this battle because He knows you can handle it. So I think the anxiety there is just a battle between your mind. But there is, look, hey, there is a big God that's... Um, With, within your heart. So, just why worry if you can pray. So, yun lang po yung talagang pinahawakan ko. That's amazing, uh, Eric. Thank you for, for sharing your journey with us. It's a unique journey in the sense that the very first day you came back to work, you went face to face with the very patient that infected you with the virus. And, and that's so admirable. Uh, that really shows the kind of calling uh, that you have uh, to serve humanity. Before we let you go, I'm going to ask Joyce to pray for you. Kung meron kang specific needs, baka you can, you can share it with us so Joyce can be specific in her prayers for you. Uh, ang akin na lang naman po is para sa lahat, just um, the safety of everyone, especially the parents out there and um, all the OFW and frontliners who are battling as well in the foreign lands, wherever they are. So I think um, I'm just praying for, for, for them, for, for, to, to sustain them, that God will sustain them. Amen. Lord God, I just thank you so much for Vaughn and his um, roller coaster journey through COVID that gives us so much hope, so much encouragement. Father, I just lift him up to you and I pray that as he honored you fully and completely uh, nung panahon na may sakit siya, I just ask you to honor him too, Lord God, by giving him the desires of his heart. Lord God, give him the residency, Lord, sa UK na pina, that he's praying for. And I also pray that you bless him uh, with a vacation back here in the Philippines, that COVID will end sooner than we think para makauwi siya ng mas maaga. Lord God, I also lift up his prayer, which I believe prayer din ito ng ng lahat ng tao na matapos na po ang COVID na ito and protect our frontliners, Lord God, our OFW nurses and doctors who are serving, Lord, in different countries, Lord. They are far from their families. Protect their hearts and their minds, Lord God, so that hindi po sila matatakot or magkaka-anxiety or magkaroon ng depression, Lord God. We just thank you once again for the beautiful story that you gave to Vaughn. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Vaughn, maraming maraming salamat and God bless you. More power to you and all your, all your co-workers in the hospital. Maraming salamat po and God bless everyone. You know, God listens to our prayers. Whatever it is we're praying for, whether it's physical, emotional, or spiritual healing, whether it is restoration of a broken relationship or restoration of something that we have lost. You know, once we cry out to God, in our prayer, we, we will feel His comforting presence. We'll be able to discern His answers to our prayers. But this will only be possible if we have Him in our life, if we have a personal relationship with Him. The question is, my friend, do you have that? Do you want that for your life right now? Sabi ni Eric kanina, why worry when you can pray? You see that confidence that comes from his heart is because he has a savior. He has a God who intimately walks with him. We want to give you an opportunity now to surrender Amen. everything to the Lord and invite him into your life. Pray this prayer with us. Heavenly Father, there are times that I no longer know what to do, even how to plan in the middle of this pandemic. And there are moments I get stressed to the point of being so anxious 
to sometimes I cannot sleep at night. But Lord, as I observe Eric, as I observe Vaughn speaking with so much peace in, in his heart, I, I said to myself, I want that kind of peace. I want that kind of assurance. So Lord, I come to you right now and I uh, humble myself before you and confess to you all my sins and ask your forgiveness. Lord, would you cleanse me from all the sins I've committed? And Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on that cross to pay for my sin. And then on the third day, Jesus, you rose from the dead to give me hope of a new life. Thank you for your resurrection power. So right this moment, I invite you, Jesus, to come into my life, to be my Lord, to be my Savior, to be the God that will change me and mold me and give me a new life, change the course of my life. Father, thank you for loving me. Jesus, thank you for saving me. Holy Spirit, thank you for empowering me. I pray this prayer from my heart in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Kung sumabay ka sa panalangin para tanggapin si Jesus bilang Panginoon at Tagapagligtas, at kung nais mo na maipanalangin ka namin, please text YES, space, your name, space, location, at ipadala yan sa smart number. 0998-590-0620, GLOBE, 0977-803-5608, at sa SUN, 0925 3-0-0-0. Kung sumabay kayo sa aming dasal at tinanggap ninyo si Jesus bilang Panginoon at inyong tagapagligtas, kayo ngayon ay nakatitiyak ng diringgin ng Diyos ang inyong mga panalangin. Ang pangako ni Jesus sa uh, John 14 verses 13 and 14, at anumang hilingin ninyo sa aking pangalan ay gagawin ko upang maparangalan ang ama sa pamamagitan ng anak. Kung hihiling kayo ng anuman sa aking pangalan, ito ay aking gagawin. Ibahagi ninyo sa amin ang napakahalagang desisyong inyong ginawa upang kapwa natin mapapurihan ang Panginoon. Tawagan nyo kami sa aming hotline number 8737-0700. You can chat with us live. Lagon lamang sa aming website, cbnasia.org slash media center. And on your social media account, use the hashtag TSCA Prayer Heals. Anabig ang anabigyo kay Mak. Kaya natin ang aking puso. Hindi rin ako makatulog masyado. Sa kaisip kung anong gagawin ko sa bahay. May mga uwang yung higaan nila. Wala pang bubong yung tagaliran. Baka hindi ko malayan, mahulog. Sa COVID-19 po, na ano yung pagtatrabaho namin, wala kang hanap buhay. Lord, siya nagtitray ako. Tagin ninyo ako ng bahay. Papasalamat po ako sa inyo. Nabigyan kami ng... Bahay. Wow, may da- namun na balay nga bago. Eh kami, din na kami mahuulog. Salamat, ang pagbulig, ang amun balay. Their home is right above the water. But when Operation Blessing came, they gave them food bags. And best of all, they were able to build them a brand new house dun sa lugar na hindi dangerous, malayo sa tubig. If you want to be part of what God is doing, You can be part of this by becoming a member of the 700 Club Asia. When you give 500 pesos a month or more, ay naging member na po kayo. And part of that goes to our humanitarian arm, Operation Blessing. Think of the many kababayans you can still touch when you give. So give now.
parang magkapatid. Ganito ang turingan ng mag-inang si Naminda at Jonalyn. Kaya naman kahit malayo na si Jonalyn na nasa Saudi Arabia bilang domestic worker, hindi pwedeng mawala ang kanilang komunikasyon. Pero nito lamang June 2020, bigla na lang hindi nagparamdam si Jonalyn sa gitna ng COVID-19 outbreak. Makalipas ang isang linggo, Nag-video call sa sa akin na sabi niya ma, nakakwarantin kami. Sabi ko, bakit? Sobra na raw sakit ng ulo nila, dalawa sila. Masakit na raw yung mga buto nila. Tapos nakikita ko ma'am na hirap po siya sa paghinga. Naiwan sa pangangalaga ni Minda ang tatlong apo kay Jonalyn. Kinailangang magpakatatag si Minda, pero hindi ito naging madali lalo na't may iniindang sakit sa puso. Hanggang sa nabalitaan nilang positibo sa COVID si Jonalyn. Masakit sa akin lalo na yung nag-usap kami ma'am na sabi niya, Ma, bahala ka na sa mga anak ko. Maya-maya nandito na yung ambulance pero wag kang mag-alala dahil well-treated naman kami ng amo ko. Hirap, dito po kasi pag nawala ng buhay mo dito dahil dyan, susunugin ka or iaano ka na lang sa disyerto, di ba? Yun lang takot ko. Wala akong takot para sa sarili ko. Takot ko para sa mga anak ko. Nung pinick up po siya ng July, ay June 19 hanggang 24, wala na po akong balita. So sobra na pong nag-aalala ako. Itong apo kong panganay, ang sabi niya, Mang, manood tayo ng 700 Club. Nakinig talaga kami. Seryoso yung tatlong bata sa tabi ko na nakikinig kami. Anak ka ng Panginoon, we have that confidence to come to Him and pray, knowing that He hears us. So you may be watching right now and you need healing. Let's come together and pray. Pahimig ako pero sumasabay ako sa prayer ng host. Tinawagan ni Minda ang mga numerong nasa TV screen na isang hotline ng CBN Asia Prayer Center. Sinabi ko po ang problema ko, pinag-pray po niya dahil ang sabi ko, wala po akong kontak, hindi ko po alam kung buhay pa ba ang anak ko, saan ko ba hanapin ang anak ko. Ilang minuto lang mula noon, may sagot na agad ang Diyos. Nakatanggap ng text message si Minda mula sa Saudi. Hiniram ko po yung cellphone ng isang nurse. Nag-chat po ako sa mama ko na sabi ko, sabi ko ma, sabi ko naka-oxygen ako ngayon, huwag kayo mag-alala, pag oras na lumabas ako, lumabas ako, sabi ko, tawag agad ako sa inyo. Yun lang po, God's grace. Napalundag ako sa tuwa, then agad-agad, nasabi ko na humingi ako ng tulong sa 700 Club sa pamamagitan nila, pinag-pray ka. At eto, ang bilis ng, ang bilis ng grant ni Lord Sa kabila noon, nagduda pa rin si Minda na pagagalingin ng Diyos ang kanyang anak. Hanggang sa isang pangungusap mula sa Panginoon ang kanyang natanggap. Pag, pag open ko po ng Bible, Jeremiah 33, 3, kung nakalagay doon, Kung ikaw ay mananalangin, ikaw ay aking tutugunin, at ipakikita ko sa iyo ang mga bagay na mahiwaga at dakila ng di mo pa nalalaman. Doon po, Tats na tats talaga ako na parang binuhusan ako ng malamig na tubig. Nung kinabukasan ko noon, nung sinwaptest ako ulit, sabi nga noon, Gia, patient 27, why you are why you are already negative? Sabi ko, negative na po ako samantalang naka-oxygen na po ako ng mga nakaraang araw. Sabi ko, nagbiro po ako siguro po sabi ko, malakas yung mga prayers sa akin sa Pilipinas. Agad na nakabalik si Jonalyn sa bahay ng kanyang employer matapos ang limang araw sa ospital. At kumapit na talaga sa ating sa Panginoon, walang imposible. Doon napatunayan ni Minda na sa kabila ng kanyang mga pagdududa ay tapat pa rin ang Diyos na nakikinig at tumutugon sa mga dalangin. Napaka sarap po sa pakiramdam na nakatawag ako sa 700 Club Asia, natulungan ako sa prayers. The, the best healer talaga si Jesus Christ. Ako po'y nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon at sa aking pamilya at sa pamamagitan po ng 700 Club Asia sa inyong masiging panalangin at sa mga kapwa ko OFW, magpakatatag lang tayo at huwag katanggalin ang paniniwala at pananalig sa Panginoon. Tatapos din lahat yan. In God's perfect timing, matatapos din lahat yan. God surely grants prayers uttered in faith. We saw this happen in the life of Minda's daughter. 
The Bible tells us in James 5, 14 and 15, is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Kahit ano po ang inyong sakit, you can turn to Jesus because He is the greatest physician. Lord God, I just lift up to you, Lord, um, people right now na maraming takot na sila ay may COVID. God, I just pray you rest your hand upon them para mawala ang takot so that they can turn to you and pray and have complete faith na whatever that is, that you are there for them. Meron ngayong isang ina na ang kanyang anak may, may, um, may lagnat at may ubo. Takot na takot po kayo na siya ay uh, nahawaan ng COVID. But the Lord Jesus is healing your son right now. Uh, may isa din na may katarata, uh, hindi ka na makakita, uh, kayo din po ay takot. But the Lord is giving you your freedom from fear right now. Do not fear, he says. I am your healer and you can stand on my promise. May isa din na... Um, pag, pag naiihi po kayo ang sakit, uh, parang may balisaw-saw kayo pero sobrang grabe uh, at may dugo na na lumalabas. But the Lord God is healing you right now, kapatid. He is removing the pain from you and He is going to give you your healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, may isang mag-asawa ngayon na uh, dahil dito sa quarantine, um, Nahirapan ang inyong relationship at uh, madalas kayo mag-away. But the Lord is opening your heart right now to learn to forgive. I want to pray for you right now kung may business ka at naghihingalo ang business mo. May sakit na rin ang business mo and it is about to close. Do not lose hope. God is in the business of fixing, hindi lang yung mga katawan na may sakit, pero yung mga business na may sakit. The Lord God is speaking to you right now. You just need to open your ears and listen. He is the ultimate planner. Hindi po dapat tayo mawala ng pag-asa. There is an end to this. God has ordained an end to COVID. We need to turn to Him and we need to turn to Him now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There's someone now just the Lord impressed on me uh, in the latter uh, uh, stage of renal failure. And you're, you're wondering, uh, am I going to die soon? The Lord is saying, no, I'm going to extend your life. I'm, I'm revitalizing the full function of your kidneys now. Amen. Receive your healing, kapatid. The Lord has heard the cries of your heart in Jesus' name. Amen. is our way to communicate with God and he wants that from us our prayer life should not fluctuate with our circumstances or feelings the apostle Paul tells us in the book of Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 16 to 18 rejoice always pray without ceasing give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you prayer is the most personal way to experience God to know Him deeper, to encounter Him, and to grow in knowledge of Him. Knowing Jesus will enable us to know God's perfect plans for, and purposes for our lives. Thank you all for watching. We hope that you've been truly inspired and given renewed hope by all the stories we featured on the show. Hanggang sa muli, God bless you more and more. Bye! Ngayong Martes, Mag-asawang nalugi ang negosyo at nasunugan pa ng bahay, ngayon umasenso na ang buhay at may brand new house pa. Alamin kung papano. Mga aita ng Pampanga nakatanggap ng maagang aginaldo. Alamin kung ano at kaninong galing. Mga bilanggo, bakit malapit sa puso ng mag-asawang ito? Tunghayan ang kanilang kwento sa... Something, Something Good! Tampok sa The 700 Club Asia.